Welcome everyone to another episode of Dino Times. I'm here as your host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Your friend, neighborhood podcaster, animal caretaker, dinosaur enthusiast, all that jazz. Today we're going to be talking about the icon, the probably most famous herbivore of all time, the Triceratops. I think it's about time we put out a new video on here for our Dino Facts special to talk about a little bit the iconic dinosaur, the Triceratops. Give you some facts that maybe you didn't know. Well, right now, let's dive into those facts, shall we? Now, of course, Triceratops tops is known to be one of the last remaining dinosaurs it was around during the late cretaceous period it was around when the great extinction did happen when a meteor crashed into the earth it's hanging around t-rex around this time too now the reason why triceratops is so iconic is we've known it for a very very long time that's right starts with an 18 it was discovered all the way back in 1887 my god so now, we're going to talk about the mouth of Triceratops because it's very important. Triceratops had a beak, as you may think of. It may just have a mouth. You may think, oh, it's just its mouth. Hardened. No, that is actually a beak. And beaks are great for herbivores, especially dinosaurs, know the prehistoric creatures, and even today, because they're great for tearing apart vegetation. Ripping plants up, you know, dig deep in the roots, hard, like, hard plants are going to be dug deep into the earth. It's going to take a lot of strength to do it. Plus, some of the branches and other roots and... and trees and big plants i don't do i'm not a herb guy at all so i don't really know but they are mostly going to be pretty thicker and tougher especially during when the high oxygen count of the late cretaceous that being said these plants are going to be beefier and tougher than the ones we have today so that beak is really great for their food speaking of though continuing on it it had four to eight hundred teeth that triceratops did now it wasn't using those all at once think of a carnivore like a shark right or any other like an alligator or a crocodile these days they shed their teeth well triceratops would be growing these teeth in what is called a dental battery. New teeth continuously grew as the old ones wore out. When you're grinding and chewing all the time, you're eating taking a lot of calories because you're such a beefy big animal, you're gonna wear down your teeth such as mammoths and mastodons. Present day elephants have around, I believe, five to six dental batteries right now, at least for the Asian elephant. Now this, again, was a beefy friend because it was six to 12 tons. That is as much, speaking of elephants, as a large African elephant. Going onto the head though of Triceratops in this little fact section, the bony frill, of course, is iconically known for being a shield. Now, it's not just a shield over wouldn't feel anything. We do suspect that there would be some nerve endings in there and the animal would still feel a bite force on there and the damage, but it still was like, mm. Send it and would just keep on going. Felt a little bit young with that sentence there. Now, of course, though, the horns didn't stay the same. The horns didn't just grow outwards. They actually change morph as well as when the animal grew. So when the animal would grow, they get curvier, longer, pointier, and such too. It wasn't just, oh, horn goes straight out. They actually did change molts and such as well, as which we kind of do suspect here using different uh, specimens found because Triceratops is a very commonly found specimen, actually. And that's some little known Triceratops facts. If you did enjoy this episode of Dino Times, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more dinosaurs and sci-fi, but your pop culture and paleo here on the channel. And of course, comment down below things you want me to talk about on Dino Times, cover for species facts, reviews, and much, much more. Thanks everyone, and as always remember, science is real.